Good morning, everybody. The fly screen is back. That means the flies are out and the seasons are changing. Things are getting warmer. It's May 1st, and that means it's time for my update video. But before I get into that, I forgot to put a reminder to send me any questions you have. I'm gonna do a question and answer video in the coming weeks, and I got lots of great questions last month, but I want more. So this is a reminder that if you have any burning questions for me, put them in the comments below and I'll try to add them into my question and answer video coming very soon. So that's all I wanted to say about that. Let's get into the update video. It has some very special guests that make an appearance at the end, and I hope you enjoy it. Hi everybody, welcome to April's recap video. It's an exciting one because I have something very exciting to share with you at the end of this video that I think a lot of my regular viewers will really enjoy. But before we get into the recap, let me first say that I'm gonna attempt to rush because the skies are angry. We've got some blue skies over there. We've got some angry skies over there and it's been drizzling on me not uh, off and on for all day really actually and I'm just trying to sneak in this update while I can. So before I get into the list, I just wanna say thanks to everybody out there who's subscribed to my channel. I've finally passed the 10,000 mark and I'm pushing onwards to the next milestone which I guess will be 11,000. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. If you like my videos, please do give them a like. It helps other people see them. And if you really like my stuff, there's a super thanks button below and a PayPal link down in the description as well. And any extra contributions really go a long way towards supporting the channel and helping me continue to move forward on the projects. And it's much appreciated, as is just watching the videos, sharing them around, watching the ads, and giving the videos a like as well. And so as the sun comes out, let's get into April's recap for all the stuff that I did last month. First up, I finally designed this bottle wall that's gonna be in between my living space and my bathroom area. It took me ages to, actually, it took me not very much time at all to do the design, but I procrastinated it for ages. I guess I'm often nervous about doing creative projects. I really wanna make sure I get it right, and so I'll find myself often pushing them off and pushing them off. But the time came and I did the design and I was really happy with it. I also finished a shelf above the wall, which had just been teetering on top of there for the longest time. I attached it, I linseed oiled it, I put some trim on it, and now the cats can go up there and hang out, and they do. I also took a Tattle Act course. Tattle Act is this really cool Moroccan finishing method of polishing lime a uh, mix of marble dust to get a water resistant finish that can be really, really beautiful. It's how I plan on finishing off my shower, but I had absolutely no idea how to actually do the technique. But fortunately, my natural building mentor, Barbara, who lives nearby, she and her partner, Emma, hosted a course and I went and did the Tadillac course. So the timing was really perfect and I feel like I have a lot of practice still to do but the whole process isn't as intimidating as I was expecting. So I'm excited to eventually do that finish on the shower, probably at the end of the, the summer. I collected sawdust and laid paths. Not the most exciting thing, but I went to the wood guy, scooped up a whole bunch of sawdust into bins, and I put down geotextile fabric in my garden and put the sawdust over top of it. I'm really happy with this method. So far it's keeping the weeds away and I'm just gonna keep laying bits by bits as I get more fabric stuff and more sawdust. Built the bottle wall frame. So I designed the bottle wall, but I still had to figure out how to get everything framed up so that I could then put the, the clay around it. It was pretty finicky. I probably could have done it in a more secure way, but it got the job done and I was able to make the bottles to fit into the width of the wall, which was just a matter of taping bottles together. And I was also able to finally cub this bottle wall around this wooden frame that I made. So all those things kind of came together and now I have an incomplete first layer of a cobbed wall for the bottle wall and I'll finish it up later on with the final render. But I accomplished my mission of dividing the space up and I'm really, really happy with how it looks. And the reason I wanted to make that wall is because I wanted to put a couch in front of it. And luckily, a friend of mine who just lives over yonder had a couch 
up for grabs. I wasn't sure if it would fit. I thought it would stick out too much. It's also a fold out bed. It's pretty enormous and pretty heavy, but myself and three friends uh, manhandled the thing into the house, got it into place. And with that wall finish, it can just sit there and enclose the space and I can hang out on it. And I have done a lot of hanging out on it and I've done a whole lot of napping on it as well. So I'm really happy to have that. Laid new water tank pipes. My friend Carrie came to the rescue and helped me move these enormous two inch rolls of pipe onto the land. We had to roll it out. We had to put these massive fittings on that are really, really difficult to get on. And together we spent most of the day trying to get this job done. The goal being to bypass the pipes that are in my leaky water tank because there's so many other leaks all across the land. Just bypass that whole system and put in new pipes and not have to worry about finding where the leaks are. And hopefully that'll mean that my water tank will hold more water. Every time I do a repair on it, it holds a little bit more water and a little bit more water each summer. And I'm hoping that these final repairs will be the thing that means it's not gonna leak at all. Another part of that, it sounds like a small thing, but adding fittings to the front of the tank was something I'd been avoiding for a really long time because I didn't fully understand how the whole system worked. The pipe, the old pipe was just under a whole bunch of concrete and I was really nervous about bashing it all out because I had no idea what I would find. So with Carrie's help, we bashed that out. I put some new pipes in, connected everything up and it's a job I've been meaning to do for three years since I moved in and I finally, with her help, got it done and I'm really, really pleased with the results and excited to see how full the water tank goes in the summer because in the winter there's loads of water and it overflows and in the summer not so much so that will be the test and another improvement for the tank was reinforcing the front wall there's a massive crack i'm not sure adding bricks to the front of the tank is really going to solve the crack issue uh, it probably is something that had to be fixed from the inside but reinforcing the tank at the front i think was still a good idea and i'm happy i did that Made lemon cordial. I didn't film this, but I mixed up, I juiced up so many lemons. I was overrun with lemons for the past several months and finally just got them off the tree because they were starting to fall anyway. So I mixed 500 ml of lemon juice with 500 ml of water, 650 grams of sugar mixed into the water, which is an ungodly amount of sugar. Yes, but it makes the most delicious lemon cordial and you also put a whole bunch of zest in there and boil it up for a while and then store it in jars and it's delicious it's instant lemonade anytime I want it and I made a whole bunch of it and so with the seemingly endless supply of lemons I also made lemon ferments with my friend Kimberly she is really into fermentation and she came over and taught me how to make an Indian lemon pickle and Moroccan preserved lemons as well and we had a lot of fun in the process and now I have some preserved lemons and some pickle as well for curries. It didn't even put a dent into the lemons that I had. So I also ended up juicing a whole bunch of lemons and making ice cubes. And I ended up also just cutting slices of lemons to use as lemon ice cubes in drinks. And I'm planning on making lemon curd very soon as well because I have a few more lemons up on the tree, still at the highest spots and another bag of lemons to work through as well. Repotted munched seedlings. The seedlings in the polytunnel have been attacked. Something has been eating them. Something has been using my seed trays as a buffet. And I basically replaced a whole bunch of the things that had been eaten and tried to do things, putting pots up in other places, raising things up um, to hopefully not have them be munched. And so far, so good. I've managed to grow a bunch of things. Some things have gotten eaten, but for the most part, have been good. And a lot of stuff has gone into the garden already. I also went to the Fundao market last month. I've been meaning to go to the market for ages. I really wanted to buy some more trees and I ended up buying a cherry tree and some blueberries and I'm really happy with the purchases. It's very difficult not to go crazy on buying trees. I only have so much space on my land and I already have a macadamia and an avocado by the house. I still need to find spots for those. So I didn't want to go too crazy. And the blueberries are something that I planted into pots so that I can move them around and find a final location for them later on. Because I don't exactly know where I want my blueberries because they're something that once I plant them, hopefully they'll be giving me berries for far into the future for many years. So 
I want to pick a good spot for them. I want to give it some thought. Finished picking the lemons, sort of. There's still some way at the top of the tree, but I put in a pretty good effort to try to get as many off as I possibly could. And yeah, there's still gotta be another couple of massive bags there. And maybe I'll wait for them to fall and pick them up, or maybe I'll get up with a ladder in the future and get them off. But for the most part, I'm happy with the quantity of lemons I've got. There had to be well over a thousand lemons on that tree, and there's more on the way, which is absolutely crazy to me. It's, it's a good tree. It's been, it's been doing good for me. Rendered the first layer of the tank. The water tank, I feel, I don't know much about this stuff, to be honest with you, but I feel like any of the exterior repairs aren't really gonna solve my leaking problems. I feel like I probably have to give it a nice good render on the inside, including the floor. And myself and my friend Carrie, who came back for another day of work, uh, we rendered the walls of the tank with the first coat of render. So that was really good. The tank looks so much better, even though the floor is still crazy looking. And yeah, I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that that's gonna really help. I also totally overhauled the garden with some permaculture design students from Kila Permaculture Farm. They came over for a morning of work and a tour around my place and lunch. And unfortunately, we ended up getting a really rainy, crappy day after loads and loads of beautiful, sunshiny days. But they were really good sports and they pushed through the rain and we all worked together on trying to pull out as many weeds as possible in the garden to prepare it for planting. And that's because in April, my parents arrived and I've had my mom do way too much weeding in the garden and I wanted to get as many of those weeds out of there before she arrived. And my parents are actually down there right now in the garden, so we're gonna go say hello to them before the end of the video. I know a lot of you regular watchers out there really like seeing my parents in the videos, and I know they like making appearances as well. So we'll go say hello to them, and they've actually done a whole bunch of stuff since they arrived last week, but I'll share all that stuff instead in May. And some goals for May. Fun with my parents and fun with friends. My parents actually have some friends visiting from Canada, and I've got my friend Sinead finally moving to her property in the middle of May, and my other friend Sencha is gonna be coming for three weeks for a visit as well. So there's gonna be lots of people around, lots of action, lots of fun, and I'm gonna to try to do my best to make time to do lots of fun activities in May with all of these people that are visiting. Finish the water tank repairs. The water tank is mostly rendered and done, but there's other little things that I need to get done. And I have to do that before my dad can start work on the deck that he's working on, which is very exciting, but I still have a lot of stuff to do just to make sure everything is finished before this deck goes on. Because though the deck pieces will be removable, it's just gonna be a pain in the neck to actually get under there and do work. So if I can do as much as possible in the tank now, get it finished, that's my goal. And get the garden going. My mom's been working really hard planting stuff and I'm excited to get the garden going again for another season. I think I have managed to rein it in a little bit. I do go a little bit bonkers with the garden. I often go way overboard. I don't think anyone needs 10 different varieties of tomatoes. Not one person anyway. And that's kind of what I do. So I'm trying to keep things a little bit more under control and my mom has been working really hard planting and I'm going to join her and finish off the planting in May as well and I'm excited to see things grow and see how the garden flourishes. So that's it for me for my April recap, my May goals on this blustery, overcast, rainy, sometimes cold, sometimes really hot, very weird day. It's been strange weather for this past week but Hoping, I'm hoping for some sunshine coming because it's been a little miserable. But enough of that stuff. My parents are down working hard in the garden and I want to go say hi. So let's go. Hard at work in the garden. <laughs> yeah. So the rain, the skies. Um, so the skies have opened up and mom's in the, the poly tunnel. Hi mom. Hi. I got the gardening done. Yeah, very cold. Run, run. The cat's wet, the dad's wet. Everybody's wet. So, <laughs> so that didn't go quite as planned. I was heading down to say hello to my parents as they worked hard in the garden and they were on their way up here running from a downpour, but we can still say hello. 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 And you'll see a lot of them in the coming videos and looking forward to sharing all the, all the work that they've done with you and some fun times as well. Bye. -bye. 
See you in the next video. Bye. Bye.